Hi everybody and welcome to Thursday and this is Thrifty Thursday. I'm going to share with you a full tour of the inside of my house. Then I'm going to share with you what I got this week at the thrift store. And also I'm going to share with you how you can go to the thrift store on a weekly basis but not bring home a lot of clutter. It is original 1963 Ridgeway mobile home. Everything inside my house is original. The original little island here. <laughs> now 90% of the things that you see in my home were castaways, things that people didn't want, uh, was gifts, and was family heirlooms. So I'll show you into the main living room. Now this is the one side of my living room, so I have one big room and this is the one side of it. You normally don't see this side of it too often and then I'll show you the other side. Any of the wood pieces that you see like back in the corner there that is all heirlooms that came from my husband's side of the family. All of these pictures that you will see on the walls are puzzles that my mom and dad put together for me and they're all Kincaid puzzles and they're something I will cherish the rest of my life. So now we have the other side of my living room. And there is my office desk, and this, that's where all of my videos are made. As you know, I have lots and lots and lots of books. I love books. And here's our bedroom. All of these pieces of furniture came from my grandma Fanny. And that, of course, is my husband's grandma, but I claim her as my very own. So all of the furniture that you see here is from her family. And basically, it's just the bedroom. And of course, you've seen this before as well. So it's just very simple. On the other side of me is my husband's work desk, and I leave that as private. But I just wanted to share with you our bedroom. Here's our tiny bathroom. It is so tiny, but it serves its purpose, and it's very plain as well. Nothing too spectacular in my house, that's for sure. We're going into the pantry, one of my pantries. So this pantry does appear to be cluttered, but everything is organized and I know what I have and everything. And this room is a room where I basically call it my grocery store. And as you know, in many, many, many videos, I share with you about my pantry. This is the favorite room of my house. Now actually this is not part of my house. This is an out porch. But I really enjoy this room. Now this room is not heated nor does it have any coolness into it. This is a very warm house. This is a very warm room. Then this is where all of my old fashioned things are kept like my baskets. As you know I love collecting baskets. But everything has a place and that's really important. Especially if you're like me and love doing thrift shopping. And over here I have some garlic sitting ready to, I need to work on that. But even though there's a lot of things in this room, everything is organized. Everything I got was 50% off this week and I got a whole box full. So I'm going to share with you how I go to the thrift store and how I don't usually get things that are going to make a lot of clutter. Now some of you will be looking at my house tour and think, well, that is kind of cluttered. Some people find clutter in a few things. Some people find clutter in a lot of things. It's just depending on your frame of mind. I don't see my house as being cluttered because everything I have, there's a reason and it's things that I enjoy. I don't have piles of things in the corners of my house or I don't have things shoved in closets and things like that. I've really worked on trying to minimize things that I don't need or don't have any sentimental value. There's so much of the hype of minimalism, and while minimalism is great, I also believe that a lot of things are lost in that lifestyle, and let me explain to you why. Being a minimalist is great, and I have nothing against it, but you know, sometimes in life it's good to have things that you cherish. There's always a fine line between hoarding and not, but there's things in our lives that we cherish. There's memories that we have. 
and getting rid of everything that meant something to you, I find that very sad. Being a minimalist can give peace of mind, but yet somehow I feel like there's so much being lost in being a minimalist. I, I feel like you're not having your memories, you know, the things of your mother and your father and your as a child. We can hold on to a few of those things, but not hold on to everything. So I really believe it can go either way. I think you can be too much of a hoarder, and I think you can be too much of a minimalist. I really do. Because your home reflects you and just reflects your what you cherish and your memories and your life. And so I really believe in keeping things that mean something to me. Everything you see behind me, everything you've seen in my home, I can point to it and tell you what it means to me, why I have it, and its usefulness. So I'll get started and show you what I got. I got everything for under $5. I can't believe it. Everything was half off at the store sale. But I got four. I'm going to give you the half off price. It's just easier that way. So for $1.25, I got this shredder, and I'm really excited for it because I needed it. This is something I need. This is something I can use. This is something I have a place for. I know right where I'm going to put it, and I'm going to be using it yet today to make my zucchini relish. Another thing I got for $0.50 cents was pipe wrap insulation kit. This is for when you want to winterize your home. This is really expensive when you go to the Home Depot or the Lowe's, but I got it for 50 cents, brand new. Now, yes, it is very old, but it's brand new. I'm going to use this, and I need it. So that's going out in the part of the garage where all of our tools are kept. I got this little wire frame, and it was only 12 cents. 12 cents. I'm going to make a wreath with it, which I'm going to make a video showing you how to do it. And I have a place for this out in my canning garage. I know exactly where I'm going with it. I got these. These are little coffee filters for making coffee. I don't use it for that. I will be using this when I make my infused oil. I use these as a way to strain it. Everything I get at the thrift store, a lot of it is what you would call consumable items. I get this for 12 cents. It was 25 cents, so it's like 12 or 13 cents. I got that, and that's something that I can use. It's consumable. It's not a knick-knack to sit around my house. I did invest in some baskets for a quarter. I got this one. For 50 cents, I got this one. For a quarter, I got this one. The place where I can hang all of my baskets and I can use these baskets. This is perfect for the things that I need it for. Can you ever get too much of it? Sure you can, but as long as I have place for it, I'm going to be getting them because you never know. And things like this, it's amazing. I can do all of my herbs in one of these. I just love it because it's very deep. It's an also deep basket. So when you're going to the thrift store, just have in mind when you pick that item up, look at it and say, okay, do I really need this or can I really use this? Because a lot of the times if you pick up knickknacks and things like that, that's when you get into a lot of clutter. But if you buy things that you can use and they're useful, that's not considered clutter, not in my opinion. So I got all of these jars for 12 cents each. These are mason jars that spaghetti sauce came in at the store. Now, 12 cents is cheap. I have a place to go with it. I use it the same as regular canning jars. It's a great thing. Useful item. I know where I can put it, and it's going to save me money. See, I have a theme going on here, and my theme is, okay, I can use this, I need this, and I know where it's going. And then I got the Mix It Up cookbook for half off, 75 cents. There's a couple recipes in here I want to try, and I will make a video with them, and I will pass it on if I see I'm not going to keep using it. One thing with my books, I will buy books very cheap, I will keep them quite a while. If I see I'm not using them, then I will donate them to my local library. And so the money just goes around and around because I'm helping someone else out. And last but not least, for 50 cents, I got all these paper bags. 
Now these paper bags are hard to find this size. If you go on eBay, you're spending quite a bit of money. But I got these for 50 cents. I know exactly where they're going and I'll be able to use these probably for the next two years. There's my box full of items. Oh, I see a nail. I can put the basket right on the nail. Perfect! Since I go to the thrift store a lot, I always have a paper bag right at my door for if I find things that I no longer need so I can donate them back to the thrift store. So now what we gotta do is put our jars away. There's plenty of room here. I'll probably even use them next week yet. And last but not least is the box. And I'll use that for all of my recyclables.